We're doing freshwater mussel surveys in the main stem James River and in tributary streams to the James River, just randomly looking for freshwater mussels to see what was here and they found the James spiny mussel. So we were working our way down river, anticipating going all the way to the James River to see how far they might be moving from our site upstream. We came around the corner and my assistant said, hey, there's a like a brick wall right down here. And we got closer and realized it was an old mill dam. And a few months later, I got an email from a biologist with Weyerhaeuser interested in possibly doing a dam removal on the creek on their property here because they knew spiny mussel was in the area. They didn't know it was in this creek particularly. And then I saw the photograph and realized immediately that it was the dam that we had seen a few months prior. We know that there was a mill here from before the Civil War, and we think e even earlier. But unfortunately, the records in Buckingham County were destroyed in 1869. In the case of the dam here, it was determined eligible for the National Register for its significance in relation to industrial history in Buckingham County. There are very few of them that still survive. And so it really helps to give an understanding of the industrial history and the agricultural history of the community. The mill hasn't been functional for, I think, over 75 years. So it's been a long time just here as a barrier and not providing any function other than that. My passion is really with dam removal. You can remove that barrier and then open up many, many miles of habitat to fish that couldn't access it before. And those fish support the mussels that we need to clean the water. I just feel like the benefit is huge. The landowner warehouser was phenomenal. They actually approached us about partnering to remove this dam. We also have funding through our state wildlife grant program that's provided by U.S. Fish and Wildlife, and they have been super supportive as well throughout. Being an aquatic ecologist, I'm really interested in reconnecting aquatic systems. And so I knew that removing the dam would restore some of the habitat for some of the fish species. What I did not know at the time was that this was also home to the James River spiny mussel, which is a federally uh, endangered species. So we really think we are um, being really good stewards of the land by doing these types of projects where we're really improving aquatic resources by opening up habitat for aquatic organism passage. Removal of the dam does two things. Usually the, the main thing is fish passage upstream and freshwater mussels, their life cycle, they use host fish. And with the James spiny mussel, that's mainly minnows and shiners. And so when those fish come to a dam, they're isolated to get upstream. So you have fragmentation going on of the population. We know there's spiny mussels downstream and upstream. So it was a major goal to try to get those individuals restored back into the main stem river to hopefully reconnect some of these tributary populations. It's kind of a piece of the puzzle for the overall restoration of the species. The, the hydrology has been changed for many, many years. The sediment's going to shift. The river is going to do what it needs to do to get its natural habitat back which then will support the fish and the mussels that live here. So we've just sort of basically given it the space to do what it needs to do, and then it will do the work. Every time I take a dam out, as soon as it's gone, I literally feel like I can feel the creek or the river breathe a sigh of relief. It's like it's released and it can flow and I can just feel that from the river. It's pretty great.